Hi, Chris with Florida Drone Supply, and we are back again with another DJI Air 3 video. We first covered this aircraft in the DJI Air 3 Before You Fly video, which is linked in the description below. Today, we're gonna to be covering your first flight with the DJI Air 3. In this video, we will be reviewing the necessary pre-flight checks, takeoff and landing procedures, starting and stopping the motors, controlling the aircraft, and post-flight checks. Pre-flight checks. First, we're gonna unpack the drone and its controller from their case, and we will remove the gimbal protector and place that back inside the case for safekeeping. Make sure to inspect your aircraft to assess for any damage then first extend the front arms before the rear and unfold the propellers and verify that nothing is obstructing the motors. If you are using the DJI RC2 remote controller, unfold the antennas located at the top of the controller. If you are using the DJI RC N2 remote controller, unfold the holder and attach your mobile device as well as the proper cable connection for the device and the controller. Next, we're going to check the status of the battery, remote controller, and our mobile device to ensure that everything is fully charged and ready to go. After powering on your drone, ensure that the aircraft is successfully paired to the DJI Fly app and that all the camera lenses and sensors are clean. It is important to make sure that the gimbal and camera are functioning normally. Also, make needed adjustments to your max flight altitude, flight distance, and return to home altitude ensuring that they are all properly set according to your local laws and regulations. Takeoff and landing procedures. After completing your pre-flight checks, you are now ready to take flight. Place your aircraft in an open, flat area with the rear of the aircraft facing towards you. Launch the DJI Fly app and enter the camera view. Before you take off, make sure that the obstacle avoidance action is activated in the DJI Fly app by tapping the settings icon, selecting safety, then set the obstacle avoidance action to bypass or break. Make sure that you set an appropriate max altitude and return to home altitude and wait for the aircraft self-diagnostics to complete. If the DJI Fly app does not show any irregular warnings, you are good to start the motors. Start and stop the motors. If you would prefer to start the motors manually for takeoff, first ensure that it's safe for you to fly. Now, perform the combination stick command by pressing both sticks down and inward at the same time or down and outward at the same time. Once the motors have started spinning, release both sticks simultaneously. You have two options to stop the motors manually once the aircraft is on the ground. For the first method, once the aircraft has landed, push the throttle stick down and hold it until all motors have stopped. Also, for method two, once the aircraft has landed, perform the CSC used to start the motors until all motors have stopped. Auto takeoff and land. To use the auto takeoff function, launch DJI Fly and enter the camera view. Complete all steps in the pre-flight checklist, and then tap the takeoff button and confirm that you are indeed safe to take off by pressing and holding the button to confirm. The aircraft will take off and hover about four feet above the ground waiting for further input. And to auto land, first check that you are safe to land, tap the land button and press and hold the button to confirm. You can cancel auto landing at any time by pressing the X. To land, hover over a leveled surface that is safe for landing and gently push the throttle stick down to descend. If the downward vision system is working normally, landing protection will be enabled. And once the aircraft has landed safely, the motors will stop automatically. Now power off the aircraft and remote controller controlling the aircraft. Now that you're safely in the air, use the control sticks on the remote controller to maneuver the aircraft's movements. The control sticks can be operated in three different modes. However, we only recommend flying in mode two. If you change modes, it can affect your ability to control the aircraft in a way that you are not normally used to. You can read more about mode one and mode three online, but for this video, we're gonna cover the factory default, which is mode two. Mode two. The left stick is a control of the up and down movements, and pressing up will allow the drone to ascend upwards, and pressing down descends the drone downwards. Pressing left will cause the drone to turn left, and pressing right will cause the drone to turn right. The right stick controls the forward and backward movement. 
Pressing up on the stick causes the aircraft to move forward and pressing down causes the aircraft to move backwards. Pressing left on the stick will move the drone to the left and pressing right will cause the drone to move right. Post flight checks. The post flight check for this drone is just as simple as your pre flight checks. First, power off the drone and the controller. Next, we're gonna reattach the gimbal protector and fold the arms and propellers back into place against the body of the aircraft. Make sure to fold the rear arms in before the front arms and tuck the propellers of the front arms into the two indents on both sides of the aircraft's back. If you are using the DJI RC2 remote controller, fold the antennas down by pushing them outward so that they store flush against the controller. If you are using the DJI RC N2 remote controller, detach your mobile device from the holder and disconnect the USB connection from both devices. Now, push the holder back into place. Gently place the drone and the remote controller back into their case so that they are ready for your next mission. Thanks for watching this video on the DJI Air 3 First Flight. If you have any questions about this drone or the many others that we sell, give us a call today at 855-8-DRONES or check us out online at floridadronesupply.com. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.